Hello, my name is John Robbie, and I will be going over on how to do a weight and balance for a Cessna 172. Um, uh, weight and balance is important to your flight because it, it, it'll tell you how long of a rate weight uh, a runway you need to take off and land, and it'll also um, tell you if you're okay to even take off in the first place. Uh, and make sure your plane is balanced evenly so that in flight it you get the best mileage, uh, gas mileage, and all that good stuff. All right, so to do a weight and balance, you're going to need a weight and balance sheet like this one. A your the proper arms for your specific plane, which will be found in the plane's POH, the operator handbook. I just printed this one off so it's easier. And you can see it gives you the different arms of the different areas. Uh, you'll need the basic empty weight of your plane, which can be also found in the POH, which is this one is 1642 at a moment of 62.6, and a calculator, and that is it. So we'll start with the uh, this, which uh, we'll start with do, doing the weights. So for this flight, we'll say that uh, it'll be myself and a passenger. And we'll say we both weigh about 210 pounds. And if you go back to this, this shows you that both the passenger and the pilot are at a arm of 37. So you put that 37 right there and right there because we're both at that arm. Now on here it shows you uh, it's actually 34 to 46 because the seats are adjustable, but the average is 37 because you don't know where your seat's really going to be at. So uh, back left and back right, we're not going to have any other passengers, so we'll just leave those blank. Um, baggage one and two, we'll say we have bags, uh, they'll be like 10 pounds each. And those, going back to this, baggage area one will be 95. Right there, so we'll put 95. Uh, the empty weight, that's what I showed you earlier on this which is 1642, 1642, and that was at a moment of $62,600. All right, so now you can go to your calculator here, and we know that, so the first passenger will be, or myself, would be 27 times an arm of 37, which is seven 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 zero moments inches. It's this will all add up and it'll give you what we need to find. Well, really, really all you're going to find is the weight and the arm, which will tell you if the plane is in proper balance or not. So then we know his is going to be the exact same, and then back left was empty so those are all going to be zero and zero and zero and then the baggage of 10 pounds at an arm of 95 950 didn't really do too much math on that and this one's 95 too and 950 so then what you're going to do is you're going to add up all those so you got 420 plus 20 uh, it's 440 obviously 440 you don't really have to add up the arms themselves because the moments and stuff are going to give you all that but you need to add up the moments which is 777 7, 7, times 2 plus 1900 17 now you can figure out the arm for that by 62,600 divided by 1642, which would give you an arm of 38.12. So then you add that 440 plus 1642, which gives you 2,082. And then 17,440 plus 62,600 gives you 8,000.
1,040. All right, so this is your zero. This is the weight of the airplane with you and your passengers and baggage without any fuel in it. But as you know, you need fuel. And our specific plane has a uh, capacity of 56 gallons, but only 53 is usable. So we're going to put 53. And uh, the fuel is the... If you go back to here right here it'll sh it'll says you right here that the fuel is at a cg of uh the location of 48 so the arm 48. so we know that that's at 48 and then uh the the regular for fuel is six pounds per gallon so you multiply 53 times six which gives you 318 pounds of fuel and uh like i said as that the arm of 48, so you multiply 318 by 48, and that gives you a moment of 15,264. So then you add these two together, 2082 plus 318, and that gives you 2,400. Now, um, the ramp weight for this specific plane is 2,550. So what that says is that if right now, if we were over 2,550 2, pounds, all right, right here, then we would have to either reduce fuel or our baggage or a passenger. So if um, you maybe you were taking someone else and that puts you over the weight limit, then you would need to reduce your fuel here. So maybe take out three gallons to reduce your weight and fuel to get below 2550. And then you add up the moments. 80,040 plus 15,264 gives you 95,304. And you don't really need the arm for that. But we're under the limit, so we're good there. Now, taxi fuel, that's uh, that's going to be what fuel you burn. And the average we say for that is minus 8 pounds. And then, again, we go back to that CG, uh, the arm of 48 inches for fuel because that's where that you're going to lose that minus negative 8. So 8 times 48, uh, you're going to lose 384 moment, the moment of 384. So you got the, well, 240 minus 8, and you get 2392. Um, and then 9, 95,304 minus 384 is 94,920. Divide that by the... 2392 and that gives us an arm of 3968 so what this is all saying right now is that when we go to take off from the runway we'll be at 2392 which the takeoff for this plane is actually 2542 because it figures in that minus 82 so we are well under that so we don't need to change anything and our arm is at 39.68 so then you go up here to this chart and you find 39 it's a little bit above it so we'll go a little bit past it and then you'll go up to 2392 which is about right here and we're right there for our takeoff which puts us within the boundaries, so we're good. To, we're good to go. This flight is okay, and that's so that's what. I'll, and then you can, you know, flight number. That's if you're actually gonna be filing a flight plan. You'll have a flight number. The captain will be mine. So we'll put John Robbie. Flight officer. We're not gonna have a flight officer because it's not a commercial flight. And then, but yeah, so that's just telling you you're within your limits. You're okay to go, and this, your flight's going to be okay. Now, if you look at the chart, you know, this is the center. So your, your optimal point will be right about here. So, but what the good thing is, is, just, you know, we're in the limit. So that's all you need to really uh, be sure of. So yeah, that concludes my uh, instruction on how to do a weight and balance. Thank you.